Well, North of Gale Carer Centre, we're, our, we have a centre based in Oban. Um, we support un, unpaid carers throughout our Gale and the islands um, from ages 8 to 100. Um, and we've been operating in Oban for about 18 years or more. Before lockdown, I used to run, um, you know, obviously it was real groups where we met up in village halls or in, in uh, rooms in Oban. Um, I would run anything from courses like mindfulness for carers or stress management for carers um, to another group that we call the Healthy Village Group, where it's just um, a community getting together and all of these things are a, a form of respite for carers and it's giving them all a break from their caring role. One of my neighbours actually sent me a pattern for a teddy for tragedies and she said she would she doesn't knit but she thought it was something maybe we could do in the group. Um, so we through that I got in touch with this, um, the organisation that, that distributes the teddies and um, we all started knitting those together and it was a really nice thing for the young carers to get involved in who didn't know how to knit and then so they were being taught either watching online or um, one of them uh, joins with her mum so um, she's a carer. So we knitted over 30 teddies which we then sent off to the distribution place which is a, a lady down in, in Cornwall whose name is Sue Bearcroft which is <laughs> very appropriate. Since then we've had more patterns from Sue and we've knitted uh, lots of hats and mittens and we knit these little jumpers called fish and chips jumpers which are for babies in Africa who, and they're called fish and chips jumpers because the babies uh, usually get wrapped in newspaper because the parents don't have any clothes for them which just breaks my heart. For the young carers it's been uh, something uh, like something different to do during lockdown when they're just like really struggling with doing all their, their schooling online and although they're, they're well used to doing stuff digitally it, it, it seems like more of a sort of creative thing that they're able to get involved in um, and for the one uh, it's also it's a really nice intergenerational thing because some, you know in the old days everybody's granny taught them to knit but not everybody has a granny that can teach them to knit anymore or maybe not able to get together so that's been really lovely for, for the older people to share their skills with the young people and everybody learns from each other. Well, it just it makes me feel so proud to have won an award and that's not an award for me, it's an award for the, the whole group of carers, everybody who's been involved and um, young carers, the young carers support worker who's part of the group as well. Um, and it just it, it just makes you feel um, uplifted when, you know, there's not that many things that make you feel uplifted during lockdown. So that's been, it's been a, a really sort of high point for, for us, it's great. I think it's fantastic. I think it's really, really well deserved, you know, I mean, it's been so hard during Covid, as Mary said, for everything, you know, to be open and done and, you know, trying to think of other things to keep the carers, you know, occupied and stuff. And they've done so much work for everybody as well, but then the knitting especially is just amazing, you know, because it's going to, it's so many different people are benefiting from it, you know, and it's, it's not even... The young carers, is, uh, they can do smaller things if they can't do like the, you know, bigger things. They can just, uh, everybody can take part in it. You know, it's it's just amazing. I know that the the young carers who've been involved um, would would much rather be sitting in a room with the old carers and, and actually hands on showing each other how to do things. And um, so I, I think that's really encouraging to think that when when the lockdown ends and we're finally able to go somewhere and sit together, we'll sit with a big uh, basket of wool between us and, and knit together, which is something definitely to look forward to.